Good morning, Christian Gate Fan One or Caitlin or whatever you want to be known as. Hello, <laughs> I'm Resonator Zen, and in case you haven't seen my first video response to you, I want to clarify something. I was a right asshole for basically assuming that you were of the chubby variety and or assuming that that's a bad thing and saying that you were indulging in gluttony. That was a right bullshit thing to do. It was a bullshit thing to say, so I apologize and I really feel awful about saying that. And hopefully you accept my apology and you see it as sincere because it really is. That was never my intention to make such a stupid fucking uh, insult, but it happened. I apologize, and I even put an annotation on that video saying that I was sorry for saying it in that video. So, now that I got out of the way, I want to clarify something else, or at least ask you a question that hopefully you'll answer. And that is, why did you all of a sudden stop making fan videos for television shows and the movie X-Men, uh, First Class, and start making videos about creationism? Why did you do that? Honestly, I'm honestly, like, trying to figure that out. Because I, I would have hoped that you would have looked into YouTube creationism before you started stating the shit you did in your previous video. Because you should know that YouTube does not suffer someone who's willfully ignorant. It didn't suffer Brett Keen. It still doesn't suffer Brett Keen. Um, it doesn't suffer fucking Venom Fag X. It didn't suffer Gear Up. And more than likely, if you don't change your opinion to something that's more in line with reality, you will be on that list. And that's not a very good list to be a part of. The reason I'm making these videos is to try and change your mind, and granted, my style of video making doesn't really bode well for that kind of hope, but it's what the intention behind these videos are. Now, let's get into uh, criticizing your video, Grass and Trees. One thing that really bothered me about this video is you don't ever address in this video the claim that you make that says people believe that it was rain on rocks for billions of years that caused life to begin. No one believes that. No one. No one I've ever seen, no one I've ever heard has ever said that they believe that. And it just seems like a bullshit thing to say. It seems really fucked up and it, it irks me. And you say that you ask that question to your biology professor to try and sow some doubt whether or not those layers were settled after billions and billions of years. And <laughs> that's still a stupid thing to ask of a... You shouldn't try and convince a biology teacher about geology. You should try and convince a geologist to believe what you want them to believe. Not a biologist, because biologists don't focus on geology so much as they focus on trying to figure out the animals that were fossilized in the fossil record, and trying to figure out how and why they changed the way they did. That's what they do, that's what they do. They study the body of mammals, invertebrates, they study those things, and in the case of certain biologists, they study evolutionary biology and the mechanisms of evolution. But to ask a biology teacher about geology just seems like a stupid fucking thing. If you wanted to ask someone about geology and geology consider... <laughs> um, concerned with the flood bullshit, um, you should ask someone like Coffee Wood, uh, Claire, or Wildwood Claire One, or whoever you know her as. You should ask her, because she is a geologist, and she can answer your questions better than I could ever do, because I'm not knowledgeable in those spheres. 
Now, and you, I, I hope you see my video, first video response, and answer the question I asked that, why are you taking a biology course if you're a graphics design major? That, that does not make any sense to me. I can see why I would have to take a biology course if I were still in psychology. Because you could learn about the biology of the brain, the structure of the brain, which, like neurobiology and stuff like that. I can understand why I would take it, but you're a graphics design major. You're focusing on making shit on a computer. What the fuck does that have to do with biology? Are you going to try and create a biologic computer that would rival the processing power of the brain? What the fuck are you trying to do? The one really big thing that pisses me off is that you seem to think that because evolution can change, that evidence for it can be falsified, that evidence for it can be disproven, that those are bad things about evolution. Those are the best things about evolution because it keeps the scientists that are studying evolution on their fucking toes because they have to look at all the evidence that they find Try and vet that it's true. If it's not true, throw it the fuck out because that's what science does. It takes what works and what is suiting the facts and then throwing out what doesn't. There's a quote from the movie Sherlock Holmes which sort of crystallizes what creationism, it, how creationism is so much different than evolution. Because... The, the quote goes along the lines of, you should not twist uh, facts to suit theories, but theories to suit facts. And that's what evolution does. It changes. It's the With new evidence comes, they try and see if it is actually true, if it's repeatable, if it's... If it can be vetted, and if it can, it gets added to the theory, and it adds to the robustness of evolution. If it doesn't, it gets thrown away, ridiculed, and just is called basically bullshit, and we move on as a fucking species. Creationism has none of those things. It is a static thing that is talked about in a fucking singular book that was written 2,000 years ago that shouldn't apply to anything that we know now. And trying to shoot facts to your theory is bullshit and is not science. It should not be done, and it just pisses me the fuck off. Because it it that, that that is willful ignorance. Because you're ignoring facts that could shatter your worldview and only looking at those things that reinforce your worldview. And that's a very dangerous thing. It is bullshit and you should try and change it. And don't be so snide to a fucking professor. I would never be so snide to a professor. And I'm snidey fucking whiplash. I am an asshole. I would never. I fucking once wore a shirt that had multiple choices on the front of it, which I had to find another version of it, or fucking find the one I lost. It had four options. I'm not listening. Uh, something else, and then something else, and it said D. All of the above. I want to. I wore that shirt to a fucking class once. I the teacher was like, "Are you wearing that just for me?" I'm like, "No, I just didn't think." <laughs> I would never be so impertinent to say, "Oh, you're doing this wrong," especially if it was in the field that I was just trying to learn about. I'd be like, "Okay, learn, learn all the facts I can, and if I still believe the way I believe, try and have a dialogue with someone, not just outright ridicule someone." And in this video, you also admit that the question that you asked was wrong, but you don't you don't admit that asking a biology teacher about geology is wrong, which pisses me off. I'm sorry if I'm repeating myself a little bit, but my brain has been fucking wonky for a while, so get over it. Um... And, and the final straw that really pissed me off about your most recent video, uh, Grass and Trees, is that you say at the end of it that you're going to write a paper that states your belief that there is no evidence that we evolved from apes. We are still apes. We are not 
We have not evolved from apes. We are apes. We had a common ancestor with apes, and we are still... We are apes. We... <laughs> To explain it this way, we had a common ancestor that was an ape, ape-like ancestor, or an ape ancestor, and it split into two things. It split into us, our, our lineage, and it split into uh, the apes family, but we're still an ape. And I'm I, Aaron Ra and Carl Sagan's Cosmos do a better job of fucking explaining that than... I could ever do because I'm a fucking idiot and it's almost 10 in the morning and I'm not all together. But I'll end the video response there. It's a little bit longer than your video, but I like to ramble. So I'm going to end it there. My cat minions are with me again and the, my dog minion is here with me again. And so I wait with bated breath to respond your response to my first video in this video uh, I won't send them as video responses to you because I think you just outright not you'd, you'd block me or you would outright ignore them and focus on the insults I hurled in, video, in the first video and someone in this video and not listen to anything I say but I'm sure it'll, fi it'll find you because considering my first video is the third result when you search for your username <laughs> I don't, this will probably be one of the other responses. And I'm happy that I'm alongside Coffee with Claire and um, another person who's addressing your claims. But I, 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 I've rambled on long enough. Peace, love, harmony, and I hear to. I can't wait to hear from you soon on either my first video response or this video response. Peace out.